Hello Virgo, it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot. And dang, somebody is feeling like um their partner doesn't want them. So you feel like your partner doesn't want you or your partner feel this way about you. Okay. So it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, share, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, so it seems like somebody is like slowly falling out of love or being less and less attracted to their person all right let's get this show on the road what's going on with the virgo 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 love reading virgo virgo love reading 10 16 through 22 10 16 through 22 2017 okay so it seems like it got something to do with like friends or family or co-workers or something like that um i seem feel like somebody just stand with somebody just to uh make them their family or friends envious but i feel like some of you don't even want the person y'all just don't want people to win like i don't know all right so it seems like you may be an arrogant person or you might be dealing with one. All right, Taurus, but I'm going to read all this like it is you. Okay? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Love reading. All right, so it seems like you guys are in your head about something. You could be in your head about an arrogant person or um, people just think you arrogant and you're in your head about it. Uh, okay, so... You might be in your head about this arrogant person. Somebody, I'm feeling like you care about this person, but they're like ignoring you and, and you, you're you in your head about it. Okay, so it seems like whoever this person is, they, um, they may want to be free from you. Probably because I think both of you guys might be arrogant. But it seems like they want to be free from you because you won't let them win. You won't let them be the biggest all the time. You're like, I got to win sometimes too. Okay, so it seems like destiny is going to happen. And I feel like in the future, everything is going to be better for you. But it may be without this person after this person leaves you. Or after you leave this person, that's when you're going to get what you deserve all right all right so basically like this situation may be ending but it's telling you to keep going let's see what it's saying to keep going to what is this future fate about what is this future fate for the virgo 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 what is this future fate about for the virgo okay so it's clear as day that you need to leave this person um, and it'll be better for you. Like, when then when they leave you, just enjoy your freedom and let them go. Keep going. Don't let them come back. And it seems like, um, like those fake friends or fake people behind your back talking negatively about you. But it's basically like, don't worry about them. Just keep going. Just keep going. Or maybe this person is going to come back trying to act like your friend. Yep, this person left for a third party situation. They're going to come back, but they don't have love for you. So they're going to come back trying to act like your friend. Don't, don't, no, no. No, no, no. All right, what's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, love reading. October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Virgo, love reading. October 16th. So the 22nd, 2017, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right, so it seems like somebody feels trapped. Get over here. Sorry. Somebody feels trapped to some situation or to this situation. 
Maybe it's you. and it, Maybe it, you feel trapped in that mental trap. Like you don't want your friends or your family to be right again about this one. But it's like they ain't got no good intense, intentions anyway. So it don't matter if you leaving another one or you single again, whatever. You know, I'm pretty sure whatever you're doing is still better than what they doing. If they sitting around talking about you. Mm. All right, it seems like, yeah, somebody might be coming in to offer you some money or just offer you some kind of help, you know? And I feel like it might be help getting out. So it seems, yeah, maybe when this person left, they took something and ran away. Maybe they took some money and ran away and now they're going to come back or maybe they just didn't pay you or something that they owe you or you know, you didn't pay them something and they coming to get it back, you know? Okay. So this is basically like you sitting up there and you used to getting what you want and now you're dealing with this person. Yeah, that's that arrogant person. You used to getting what you want and you got this person playing games with you and now you like, you know, I, maybe I should get free from them, but they already thinking about this if they ain't gone, but it's like basically it's better on the outside. So this is basically like no kind of this is this relationship doesn't have any balance. All right, so let's go with the eight of swords. Eight of swords is um, a feel feeling of being held prisoner, trapped by some force, a situation difficult to escape from. So it's like yeah, that's the mental trap you got going on with yourself. Like, oh, I can't leave them yet because they owe me money. Or I can't leave them because they're going to be talking about me behind my back. Well, if that money ain't going to come back no matter what. And then people still going to be talking about you behind your back no matter what you do. So, I don't know. That's why it's like, oh, better for the future if you get rid of everything. Freedom. All right. So, we have the Knight of Coins. Knight of Coins. Hmm. All right, and it's right side up. It says a person of trust will guide you and help you is approaching. Approach any task with great planning and organization. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's trying to send you a message, message, message to try to learn from your mistakes. I'm feeling like this ain't the first time you let somebody um, say this to you and it made you stay in a, a different, a negative situation because you didn't want people to think one way of you. I'm feeling like it may be time to like stop caring about what people think and do what you feel like is right, you know? Because I feel like the only reason you're still with this person is because... You want to make somebody else envious, okay? All right, so we have the queen, the queen of staffs. It says, a very strong but loving person, very responsible and caring individual. You can trust what this person says. And I'm feeling like that could be you in this, you know, you're very hardworking, dependable, you know, you know what you want and you go get it. But you letting these weak people over here control you right now. I don't know. I mean, that's just what I'm feeling from this reading. But now we got the Six of Coins reversed. It says, a card of envy, hoarding, misdirected lust, and perceived imbalance. So that envy thing is big time here. You only stand with them to make everybody else envious. Hopefully you learn your lesson and just go be happy. Look at that. I didn't even notice he's stepping on a snake there. So he's getting ready to get bit. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. You know what to do. Have a great week.